Hello guys and welcome. Today I want to talk about the reality of streaming platforms and social media in general. Now this is very interesting and you can actually really see that especially on platforms that, that are not that big. Okay. Now one example is Kik. And if you actually check some of these uh, uh, games and p that people are streaming, just look at this example. PUBG. The first guy has 8,000 concurrent viewers and all the second and third guys have 10, 8, 5, 2, right? And this is what happens when you turn content creation into a huge business. Then only those guys who use view bots or guys who get handpicked for pro leagues, so then people think they are one of the best, right? Only those guys can make it. And this has been going on on all social media now for years, right? It's same on Twitch, which we can go on Twitch, for example, right? Let's check Twitch. Valorant, League of Legends, let's check. And if you could just check on Twitch, who are the guys who always appear at the top, right? Just check the titles. It's all these guys who are usually handpicked for pro leagues, right? Not earned. They don't earn their spots via official rankings and tournaments. That's the whole essence of esports and sports. They literally got handpicked, right? And everybody who got in uh, getting handpicked by these teams or getting via friends connection, these guys will get three times more followers on social media, right? This is how people made their careers and that's why nobody want to talk about. And this is the biggest problem of capitalism. Because then only 10% of the guys on the top who manipulate the system or those rare examples who really make good content, only those guys will get anything out of these platforms. Right? And this is what happens when you turn things into a huge business. This is what happens when you replace passion with capitalism. And this is the biggest problem with capitalism mentality. Then only 10% guys on top will make anything out of this platform. So it's, all, it's literally meaningless for 90% of the other guys in the community, on social media, on content creation platforms to invest their energy into this because they will get nothing out of it. You're just wasting your energy. And it's almost impossible to grow. And it's probably even worse on big uh, social medias like Facebook, YouTube, Reddit. These platforms are made 50 to 70% bots like a promotional accounts. That's how bad it is. And as, a, as someone who loves esports and someone who loves gaming and content creation, it's become almost impossible and meaningless to make. And the only reason I still make videos is because, you know, so I want to put something out there. I mean, this is the whole essence of content creation. You want to you wanna share something with the world. It was about creativity, sharing your thoughts. But now it's just about who can manipulate more people, right? That's also why many big uh, content creation went from, t from Twitch to YouTube. Because on YouTube, it's way easier to manipulate your audience with countless of bots, countless of promotional accounts. In fact, it's only way how, how to make it. Any big content creator you watch on YouTube, for example, has been doing this for years. They manipulate viewers, they manipulate algorithm. And that's the only way how you can make it, right? And smaller platforms like Kik, our typical example look like the first guy has 9,000 viewers, the second has 10 viewers, right? You see, we go on teamfight tactics. First guy has 1.4 thousand viewers, and all these guys have uh, more less than 100 uh, viewers or 10 viewers. This is the reality for anybody that's want to content create. It's not worth it. You either you either become a manipulator, you either become the bad guy, the business guy or you have no chance on these platforms. That's the biggest problem, right? So why would I stream? You know, why would I ever stream, right? I mean, yeah, some, I mean, people love having good content creation with good characters, like for example, all the block or, you know, but the reality is much different for 90% of people. And it's surprising in League of Legends, you know, it's the same thing. Most of these guys who appear at the top either use view bots or they got picked for uh, hand picked for pro leagues. And then people think they have this illusion that they are one of the best, right? And they get countless of more views 
And it, because at the end of the day, it's not just survival, it's a huge business, right? Capitalism, everything has to be about money. And this is what happens. I mean, you can literally just go, um, you can write smite, for example, into YouTube. And it's always, you can actually just write smite into Google. Let's see, I want to actually do a, a fresh one. Spray me say, okay, whatever. Let's do smite. And let's, you see, who are the guys who always appeal at the top? Okay, we have company itself, you know, and they remove any criticism, you know. These platforms are not here to get your opinion. They're here to promote, right? And this is why they use, uh, there's just the Reddit is 50% bots and promotional accounts. But also who appear at the top? It's either guys who use promotional accounts in their videos that usually post this uh, manipulative, pretentious, positive comments under their videos, or guys who go who play on pro leagues, right? Because people think they are one of the best, right? This is the whole essence of esports. They think you are one of the best, even though you never were, even though you never earned your spot. We literally had war champions that barely know how to build. That's how bad it is. And we didn't have a single official online community tournament in the last five, seven years in Smite community. Yes, we had some co uh, tournaments for Conquest, but they always handpicked all their players. Nobody really earned it. That's also one of the biggest reasons why UFC, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest company, fighting companies in the world, Ultimate Fighting Championship is losing viewers because they stage every fight. The fighters don't earn their rankings, they don't earn their spots. They literally handpick. And if you check UFC, it's always the same 10, 20 guys who have fights and everybody else barely get any recognition. This is the problem with capitalism. But if you do things right, if you, if you organize official tournaments where people have a chance to prove themselves, then you get viewership and sponsorship naturally. And you even get competitive spirit, EU versus North America, for example. This is why seven years ago Smite Pro League was so good. You know, you see, like I just typed Smite into YouTube. Fine, okay, right? Um, Hadix, right? Hadix, okay? What else? You know? Weekend, right? All these guys played on Pro Leagues. They didn't really earn it. They got him via friends connection or whatever, you know? And then, you see, this guy Hadix started making content after me. Like, he's only making content for two years and he got more subscribers in those few years than I did in six, seven years. He got 10,000 views because of that, right? And he, he makes more, a lot of money from these videos. Just because he got handpicked. He got handpicked for Pro League. He got, I think he, they got in via, like, I don't know, Barracuda or somebody who got him in. Or Jake Paul, you know, Jake, you know? Oh, there we have guys who use view bots, you know, and anybody else basically has no chance to get any views because these guys always get the top spots and when YouTube recommends them, guys who use bots or guys who get handpicked for pro leagues. And this is what happens when you turn uh, content creation and gaming into a huge business. The capitalism is destroying everything we love and we don't even realize it. That's how bad is it, it is, you know. There's so many of guys, like, literally anybody that appears at the top has been handpicked for Pro Leagues or played uh, Pro League or something, and then people think they are one of the best. And I wouldn't have a problem with that if they would actually earn it via official tournaments and rankings, but they never did. They, 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 they half of them got in via friends connection. They live in North America, right? So then Hires ignored EU region, ignored international players, ignored arena players, 70% of their player base. And then they even pay pay the massive salaries on top of that. They're, they're paying the massive salaries so they gatekeep everybody else and they live in a bubble. And 80% of the rest of us who love this game, who, who put in the effort, basically has no chance, right? That's, that's why esports is dying, because of the capitalism, you know? Because only the, in capitalism, only 10% of the top guys 
or guys who manipulate their viewers or got in via friends connection or prayer prolix or use viewers only those guys can any make anything out and it's the same on social media it's the same everywhere you know that's why it's actually better to have a day job because you will actually get anything out of it if you're making content for social media you're just wasting your time because you're competing against countless of bots and countless of guys who got handpicked Half of them are barely good at this game. They barely, they, it doesn't even matter how good are they in this game. I mean, they all they they are just playing on quest, you know, a snowballing game mode where all you do is abuse meat items and snowballing level advantage, and then you feel good about yourself, and then they make videos for out of it, right? Like Jesus Christ, and these guys will never talk about this. They will never admit it because it's their whole life, their whole career is based on that. And they will never admit that to, to themselves or to the others, you know. And then we have this guy reaction channels. You really think this guy is not using bots? You must be naive, you, you know. Or or doctor disrespect, you know. One day you will guys learn that it's just a huge business, and fifty to seventy percent of the accounts on social media are, are actually bots, like a promotional accounts. And only way how you can actually know it is by the creation date of these accounts. But people have been literally doing that, that now for 10 years. So it's almost impossible, right? I mean, if these social medias would have IP that you can only make one account per IP, per, uh, per one computer, it will only be like 30% of real, real humans here, you know? It's all about keeping the illusion. All these big companies just use YouTube and this platform as a promotion, right? They use countless of bots, countless of promotional accounts. And all they have to do is keep the illusion that they are popular, nothing more than that, you know? And they do it with bots, you know? I mean, it sucks because anybody literally has no chance. I mean, my only chance is to get any views is that I share it on maybe on some Facebook groups, on Discords, but you can easily get banned there. If, especially if you have more non-general uh, accepted opinion or criticism, right? There is so much problems when it comes to this that it's, that's why esports is they literally destroyed. Capitalism is destroying everything we love. You know, I spent seven years on making videos for YouTube. I basically has no chance. I spent ten years to play Smite. It was one of, one of my favorite games. The, the game itself didn't improve in the last seven years. They destroyed Pro League, they destroyed Arena Rank Scene. What could make my two, three times more popular? But guess what? You know. Don't expect don't expect passion and love from guys who only care about capitalism, the guys who only care about making money. You really think half of these big YouTubers would play these games if they wouldn't make money out of it? No, they wouldn't. So you really ask yourself, do these guys even really love the game or they just want trying to make money out of it right uh, the only positive things i have from these guys is that sometimes they talk about me and this is like a promotion for smaller smaller channels smaller guys but literally all basically i have zero respect for any of these guys because they all they care is about money and capitalism they, they have no real passion they are not innovative, they, they don't, you know, they don't promote discussion. All they care about is, about is making money from their videos. It doesn't need to be good content. They don't even need to have good character or they don't even need to put effort. I'm not saying this, a lot of these guys make good content and put a lot of effort into their videos. But so do many other people and they get 10 views. Meanwhile, these handpicked guys get 10,000 views. How is that fair? It's not. Because they don't care about being fair, they don't care about competition, they don't care about being the best or to win. What they care about is money. Yeah, this is what happens when you turn. This is what happens when you turn passion into capitalism, you know. And this is why Smite now has less, ten times less uh, players than it used to have, because ninety percent of players will get nothing out of Smite. Back in the days we used to have tournaments where everybody had more chance to compete. We had North America EU competitive spirit. We even have ranked leaderboard rewards for arena fans. So people, you know, what every competitive player wants, you know, and this is just the top of the iceberg, you know. GG man, it's kind of really sad. And then we have founder editions, right? 
And these guys who only react to popular things, they don't, they're not passionate about anything. They just react to popular things. They don't even need to make their own content. They don't, they just react to things. And then they use countless of bots and promotional accounts to make them seem popular. So people come, uh, gather to there, you know, it's a mess. They go to where people are, popular thing going on, you know. And all these guys make it almost impossible for anybody who loves this game to make anything out of it or to get any promotion, no matter how good you are or how much you love the game. That's why I hate them, you know. And maybe this is not their fault, it's how social media is designed. Back in the days, seven years ago, when social media was not full of bots, you know, this algorithm made sense, you know, you get, the more you get promoted, the more comments you get, the more uh, activity you get, the more you get promoted. But now it's all, all about who can use more bots to manipulate algorithm and their viewers it's, and make money out of it. And this is what happens when your whole life is about capitalism and survival. When you are born consumer, then you have no critical thinking, you know. <sighs> okay, I'm hungry. I hope you guys have a good day and see you in the next one.